Hello friends and welcome to day 65 of 100 Days of Believing Bigger. Today we are going to be talking about a subject that is very fitting for the day and age that we are living in. We are talking about releasing anxiousness. In this book, we are breaking down the walls that are holding us back from growing fully into all that God has in store for us, for the calling in our life, for pursuing our hopes and our dreams and our passions and being a part of enlarging the kingdom of God. So if that's something that you're interested in, we put all of these videos in a playlist and you can start back at day one and work all the way through to day 65 if you'd like. Each video is just about five to 10 minutes long. I've also put a link in the description section below that will tell you where you can purchase this uh, journal if you would like to. There is a book, there's other items all along in this line that you could purchase, but this is the journal that we are working through. So like I said, today we are talking about releasing anxiousness and what an anxious summer it has already been. There are so many things that keep coming against us here in the United States, and I'm sure that there's sim similar things all around the world. But we have had mass shootings time after time after time, and it's, it's very heartbreaking. The most heartbreaking of all being, of course, the school in Texas. But just yesterday in the town of Tulsa, Oklahoma, not very far from here at all, a hospital where one of my dear friends works, a building on that campus, medical office to be exact, um, a gunman went in with the intention of killing a doctor and anyone that got in the way. Very sad situation. And when we hear things like this, it can make us so anxious. And I'm not here today sharing this because I am immune to this, but I'm sharing because I know where we can go to counteract that anxiousness. And I know the promises that we need to stand on so that we have a peace that is beyond understanding in times like these. So let's go ahead and let's look at the book of Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. Oh, that is good. And I don't know about you, but when I just read these words, it is immediately just brings a peace over my spirit and it calms any anxiousness that I have had. So thank you, God, for this word today. I'm so thankful for it. Marshawn Evans Daniels is the author of this devotional journal and also the book, Believing Bigger. So let's go ahead and dig in and see what she has to write today. She writes, we are to be anxious for absolutely nothing. By anxious, God means that we are not to be worried, apprehensive, fearful, distressed, nervous, antsy, or on edge. God knows that we have a tendency to default to our emotions, so he gives us a better way to handle them. And we just read that in the scripture that we went over. We are to turn our angst into peace, prayer, and thanksgiving. It's that simple. But it takes trust. And on day, I believe one, two, and three, she went over this acronym for trust, which is total reliance upon spiritual things. Trust. So she says that it takes trust for that to happen. Really, the question is whether we believe God hears us and is actively working on our behalf. When we doubt God's interest and commitment to our lives, we doubt God's heavenly timing. She closes up today by saying, 
Doubt always opens the door to anxiety, restlessness, misaligned decisions. However, when we believe that God is supreme and will perfect every single thing that concerns us, we gain the gift of peace that surpasses all understanding. And it's in this place that provision and pathway become uniquely clear. So our question of the day is, what has made you anxious lately? And how does that shed light on how you doubt God? Well, the things I spoke of at the beginning of the video are huge things. They are devastating events that shake us worldwide and across this nation for sure. It just shakes us to the core when we hear about things like this happening and it it robs our feeling of peace. However, there are other things, even without these events, that lead to that type of feeling. So one example for me is that my vehicle is broke down and wouldn't you know that the part for it is on back order. It really shouldn't have been a big deal to get it fixed, but because this part is on back order, caught up in all of this mess of the supply chain, then it has been a big deal. And right now in my mind, I am just assuming that I might be without my vehicle for the entire summer. But praise the Lord that I have a vehicle that I've had since 2005. And I have always kept that vehicle as a spare. So although it's not what I would hope to be driving, I am thankful that I have it as a spare. And I've been tempted to sell it so many times, but right now it feels like a very wise decision that I kept that car. However, I will say in all honesty that vehicle trouble is one thing that can make me feel stressed, anxious, fearful. Uh, my husband would say even hateful because my stress level gets so high that I just get really snappy. But, um, you know, I surrendered to the thought that I'm not going to have that vehicle for the summer. And what's the good things that might come out of it? Well, number one, I might get it sooner. And that's what I'm hoping for. Um, we are hoping that maybe in the next week or two that we will get some good news on that. But also, you know, I'm going to save mileage off of my newer vehicle and maybe me staying at home more is going to put me in a position of protection. Maybe there is an event that would be happening on the road or somewhere where I would go that I just don't need to be there. And if God needs to break this little strange piece in my car for that to happen, then I just have the faith that God works all things together for my good. I have a saying that I usually say around the house, and that is, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but things always work out for my good. Things always work out for our good. God always has a plan for every detail. And sometimes to get to that piece of understanding, when it's a big deal, you really have to be not so much earthly minded, but heavenly minded. And sometimes that's where the peace comes in. But wherever it is, I just pray that you will think on the scripture today that you maybe will take a screenshot of it or write it out. It's Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. Read it over and over if you are experiencing anxiousness and let that help you release the anxiousness today. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Lord, give me a steadfast sense of trust in your timing. Remove all doubt and replace it with extreme reliance upon you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this has been a blessing to you. I know that many of us are experiencing anxiousness right now, but let's just remember when those feelings creep in that that is not from God. And he knows that that is going to come up against us. And so he's given us steps to take and a plan to release that anxiousness and have a peace that is beyond the understanding of this world. Thanks again. Have a great day, y'all. Bye.